Hello, welcome to YouTube channel of RVMax.us in Greenville, South Carolina. Sun is setting in beautiful South Carolina. What I have behind me is a beautiful 2008 one owner Winnebago View Model 24J. So it's a one owner, came from Charleston. We just picked it up. Uh, it's got newer tires, full body paint, extensive. I mean, I'm talking about extensive paperwork of all the records that has been kept. They bought these diesel motorhomes to drive. It's got a little bit of miles. They're all highway miles. They drove it and enjoyed it. And it's someone else's turn to enjoy it. Instead of paying a couple hundred thousand dollars, here's your chance to buy it at a great deal. Full body paint is in great shape. You got the uh, electric awning, has a aluminum shroud on top. Just a few couple of scratches on top I see, but overall in really good shape. Take a look at the tires, are knee deep tires. Michelin tires, they're like 2021, I believe, the date could I saw them. Anyway, no worries on them. Yep, uh, oh, nine of 20. Uh, they're about, you know, two years old maybe at that most. And a lot of times that's from the date of manufacturing. Them tires could be installed a year ago. I haven't seen them in the knee deep trade. Got a little 3M film in the front that protects. It is a Mercedes, but it's got a Dodge emblem. Back in 2008, Daimler Chrysler or Daimler Mercedes owned the Dodge. And uh, so it's got a Dodge. Sometimes people change out this radiator grill, and a Mercedes radiator grill would pop right in if you'd like to ch change it out. But it is a Mercedes, not a Dodge. Uh, I don't see any road rock chip or uh, chips or any major damage in the front. Got fog lights. Headlight looks good not fogged up or anything like that even the top part of the motorhome looks good no no paint chipping off or clear coat coming off once again Michelin tires man knee deep trade lots of rubber left you got your turn signal kind of in the uh, mirrors we'll go through the uh, cockpit area right before we go test drive Man, it's very clean. You gonna? I mean, it, it, it's one owner and uh, very well taken care of it. And you can see it. it has one slide out here. The model 24J is in Juliet, so it's got a corner bed. Let's open up some of the compartment. This one has an LP gas. Uh, part of them is LP gas. There we go. I love the full body paint on it. That's another part of the uh, other side of the... LP tank. There we go. Dually tires. So it's got a V6 Mercedes engine. This is your 30 amp power cord. Plenty of room, unlike some of the trailers I've seen. Man, you got to fight it to get it in. Lots of room. Man, almost two feet deep. Uh, got a little chip on that, paint chip. And this is just a little silicone coming off. I mean, I'm trying to nitpick it. I can take a plastic razor blade and take it off. Just a little paint come off. Overall, look at the body's in great shape. A slide is in, obviously. Slide out top is brand new. I saw that. It's not original. Someone changed it. So no worries on that. Up top roof, you got a fiberglass roof, which Winnebago does. Great job on them. So here we've got a fresh water tank. Your sewer discharge, outside shower. Um, it even has a black waste tank drain. Oh, it's okay. No, I'm sorry. I thought it was a sewer flush. But uh, so that's your typical wet bay. Come around the back. We got just a couple of little scuff here. Okay, could probably buff out, but some are deeper. Okay, so just want to point out a couple of stuff here. Full spare wheel. Uh, towing capacity should be around 3,500 pounds. And, and that's uh, your stabilizing jack? These are stabilizer jack, yeah, manual. So they're not leveling jack, so what do you call it? It would, it would, it'll take the rock out. You got a six pin hookup as well as a four pin regular hookup if you want to pull dolly or something. It'll pull a little car behind it. Hey, the previous owner was golfer, man. I see that. South Carolina. A backup monitor, got got nice ladder back here. I think overall, one through 
one through ten for 2008. 15 years old coach, I'd give about an eight and a half, almost nine. It's in great shape. So on this this side, let me show you. This thing is a really good feature. So you know those fold-up bikes you have? You can put them up here or you can put this bed up. That's your corner bed. You can put a full-size bike up here if you'd like to. Or put some canoe or what do you call those? Paddle boat kind of stuff. Whatever you wanted to put some stuff here. That's your winterization. You can winterize it from here. And that's your stabilizer jack. Um, it could probably fit in here, but it's just laying down here. All right. Let's see if that light works. I think we have a coach power turned off. Hold on. Is the light on? Yep, light works. That's my little pad peeve. I want to make sure everything works. Not that everything will work. Got it. It's just, I'll drive myself crazy sometimes. You don't want to be perfectionist, but you know, these are used motorhomes. Gonna have few stuff. All right, so did we open this? No. Nope. Okay. That's where the generator is. That's right. You got a 3600 watts LP micro quiet generator. I believe I saw it. It's got like 300 hours, but we're going to verify when we get back in. Got a little storage up here next to it. Six gallon water heater. And this is a cooler. Check this out. You kind of open it up and it's got a little lock mechanism here. You just pull it out, pull it down, and then see this lock mechanism? Kind of like a hood release. Pull it out all the way and bam, we have a, it's got a little drain here. Throw some ice bags and man, ready to tailgate. You can throw some Budweiser or Miller Lite or non-alcoholic brew. Sweet tea, whatever. All that Coca Cola, Pepsi, whatever. We got a 110 plug in, two of them. I don't know what that is. This is some kind of a. But see, so you got a 110 here. You can probably put a big 50 inch TV with the suction cups and you can tailgate out here. Uh, seems like we made a complete circle. So let's go ahead and go inside and show you. We have put LVP floor. We took that factory. Uh, Berber, what do you call that? Shaggy 70s style carpet had to go. It's just a one in a. Can you open the awning before we go in? Yeah, let's do that. Sure. Open the awning up. And the slide. I'll open the slide too. You're coming out? Yeah. I'll probably keep this door closed. Yeah. And I like the fact that it's acrylic. It's not a vinyl. And uh, that's a good good sign of Winnebago don't cheap out, man. Some of those cheaper motorhomes, they'll put a vinyl and that retains smell. Uh, you know, when it rains and you put up wet, this is acrylic and they last a lot longer. And uh, hey, let's open the slide. If you, while you're out there, let me open the slide out. You have to have an emergency break up, and I'll, sh let's see, mm -hmm. and now I'll open the slide out. There we go. Nice little slide out that lets the booth dinette slides out, and kind of gives a lot of room here in the living room area. All right, let's come on in. Come on in. Nice patio light. As you can see right here, a couple of batteries under there, but look at this bull nose and a brand new LVP floor. So what it used to be carpet about here, it curved out an old shaggy carpet and had a cheap linoleum. I hate to say that cheap but because it was a cheap. This is a definitely a nice upgrade. It had a carpet under there too, on a booth down it. We'll put a nice, um, just a little rock. <laughs> Nice uh, LVP flooring there with this uh, transition bull nose. I love this floor. So only place the old carpet is is here. Let's see if I can. The carpet is in between uh, driver and a passenger seat. Uh, there's a Mercedes or Dodge owner's manual, but we just uh, it's got a, so much paperwork. 
and I think we'll have a segment of it. It's all the paperwork and owner's manuals are right here. Let's see. Over here we have a, all the privacy curtain that goes around front. Some uh, extra, let's see what's in here. Oh, it says Mercedes Benz Power Sting Oil. Goes with it. Got some, uh, so as you can see up here, we have an overhead bunk bed. It can just go up here, and you see there's two little latches. You can latch them, but it stays up on its own. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have all these shades. They are perfectly, they work for all the windows and the windshield in the front. So like a sunshade, also privacy curtain. They are right here. And to get up on top, all you do is hook this ladder up. There we go. And then, let's see, you can get up on top. And I'll tell you what, let me lay down there and see. Wow. Oh, yeah. Man, this has better, more room than the Citation we had, a 19 model. A daughter and her boyfriend said, man, this is like, you can, two people can sleep here. Yep, it's got this uh, hooks. I don't know. You might want to put a couple of ropes or something can hook up here so you're not going to fall off at night. If you're a sleepwalker, we have a little sunshade. And let me show you how that works. Let me get down here and I'm going to show you. It's got a little big, long bar liver and that, that, that can open up. And let's get this out of the way. You push this button and it comes out. Okay. And then you see it. Man. Whoa. Sorry. It locks in place. So you see it. We've got this skylight. And you just put it back down and it locks up by itself. And then you got this. Yeah, that, that's got some stain. That's about the only thing I see. Or oh, the flaw wise. Nice curtains on the both side of the window, up on a cab bed. Got a couple of plug-ins to charge your phones or whatever. Got a little light here, reading light. Uh, as you can see, reading light, no water leaks in the front. Uh, very minimal stains or something. Just, a, you know, just a little sign of gentle use. But other than that, in great shape. Oh, by the way, I just took the TV out. Took me forever to take it off. The older TV was... a jensen made in taiwan tv it wasn't working i've already got 24 inch tv upgrade just like the floor it'll be swivel we can get it out of the way or bring it here or tilt it there so this old tv was just like this 20 inch so now we're going to have a 24 inch tv that can flip around it's going to be installed it's got a nice privacy curtain here on the door when you come in got a, a radio CD player, it, I don't know if it had a speaker outside. I think it did, right? I don't know. Uh, ceiling light, porch light. That's the radio. So now, um, the kitchen consists of nice, big stainless sink. It does have a little sink cover in one of the cupboard. Three burner gas stove. Microwave convection oven. And generator, by the way, has only 324 hours. By the way, this thing has a heat pump and air conditioning. So it's not just AC, but it's got a heat pumps too. There's some speaker here. Some speaker oh, here. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. So uh, look at the boot on it. Man, it's well, I mean, just no tears or any stains or any sign of abuse i mean it's in really good shape so this becomes bed if you want to put it down a bed we have a couple of plug in here including a, a 12 volt cigarette lighter for old school charger um, nice day and night shades in excellent shape yeah it's very nice easy uh, man the fabric on ceiling looks great i just changed about a dozen or so LED lights, man, they are so bright. I love white lights. They look brighter and they take less uh, energy. 
you also have an upgraded uh let's see uh antenna king antenna for tv and the back tv works i'll show you that hey look at that ladybug <laughs> uh lots of storage under the sink and uh pretty deep storage and it kind of glides really nice it's one of those almost soft clothes and then you have some storage under here too and there are a couple of seat belts sorry I probably shut it too fast seat belts here too a little uh, piece of woods coming off not piece of wood but what do you call it? like a plywood I mean look just noticed some, but isn't it this so beautiful? God, I love these hardwood floors. So, center part of the coach, you have a double door refrigerator. Runs on LP gas or electric. Generally used. No rust on these grills or nothing. It's in great shape. Is it running gas in? Gas and electric. And then you have a little privacy curtain for the bed. I'll show you that before we come in there. Look at here. We've got a nice little coat closet. I think the previous owner added this little pantry type of thing. There's some bags here, you know, canned goods. And then that is the uh, kitchen sink cover I was talking about. Oh, that's your weight and all that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. 4,400 pounds. Front and rear. So let me open this bedroom area. So bedroom area, it's uh, the 24J is a corner bed. Yeah, let's see. I'm, I'm going to demonstrate. See, can sleep in here. Now we're on half. Yep, six feet person can sleep here easily. Man, that light's bright. And, and then if, if your wife is a little shorter than you, this is perfect. Day and night shades here. And then this comes up as like a sofa too, right? It ends up. Uh, no, it's just when you store it. Like when you up. store it inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a... That comes up? Yeah, it does. If you're one person, you can have a Oh, let me turn a TV on back here. That little Polaroid TV, yeah, all channel kind of came on. And uh, yeah, I had it. So let's see, there's some storage while you're up here. Back in the 1950s, tried to figure out where did all the elements come from. And they recognize that the universe begins with hydrogen. So we got some storage up on top. And some more storage there. I'm going to turn that TV off. So that old TV works. The other one, Jensen, was has seen the better days. Madison cabinet, nice little stainless steel sink with a little bit of counter space. A couple of plug-ins for your hair dryer. Oh, by the way, you see this hardwood floor? We got it under there. And also, let me show you something. This opens up. Look at this. There's another nice little storage. Can you see that with the light? You see it? So the the hardwood floor went all the way. We took this off and put it up there. That's a that's a good bit of storage. You can put all kinds of like pillows and mattress. Can you see that? It looks really dark on the screen. But all right, and corner bathroom, and it is a good size of a toilet area. And then you got stand up shower. That yellow light is also LED. That's the only yellow light. On the ceiling, there is besides some of the okay, reading lights. Fan. Yep, got a fan up on top. All right, and look at. Let me just show you the shower, man. I got my shoes. They added this. You could take it off for extra. What do you call a a coat? I guess you want to hang some of your clothes here or something, but you still take a good shower here. You have to get down a little bit if you're really tall. <laughs> Other than that, I guess uh, this would conclude our in interior video.
and uh, let's get on the road. Okay, before we get on test drive, hey, this is armrest. It is, it it it's uh, what do you call adjustable? You hear that little ratchet? Okay, <laughs> pretty neat. We got a backup monitor here. It's a color backup monitor. Does it sound too? Uh, it's got a sound too. So you have you trying to back up, and they can talk to you with that. Got a nice little uh, uh, radio here. Got a little place to put a, your cell phone. Um, over here, it's two cup holders because this is really ashtray, but it's a non-smoker modem. So you can put your change or one cup here, one cup there. There's a change, cigarette lighter. These are battery boosts. I like that. So if your coach batteries were weak, you can crank up your generator with that. Or if your coach battery, you were plugged up and your chassis battery you went and did, you can hit that and crank your engine up. Uh, Four-way lights. Uh, door lock. By the way, it's, they, it, Winnebago does a really good job. When you lock it with the key, it locks the door to come in the coach too. Uh, air conditioner. What's here? Let's see. There another. I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, we have a uh, something to, with a. Oh, you put a piece of papers. Clip. Yeah, clip. Because these are like commercial chassis. Okay. Got a little glove box here. Should have a cup holder there. Got a cup holder there. Yep. Should be one on the door. Yep. And uh, I've got another cup holder up here. About 164,000 miles. We've got a power windows, power mirrors. Uh, they work fine. Uh, I can adjust my mirrors, headlight, then you lift the headlight up, and that's your fog lights. So headlight on, up, this is your turn signal, and that's a cruise control. Man, Mercedes does a really good job. You just touch it, and it, it engages, and then, then you can accelerate and deaccelerate. Oh, got nice little arm resetter. Wrestler. Oh, wrestler. <laughs> Yeah, it does. That's, that's nice because you got one on this side and this is added. All right, let's roll the windows up and got nice little um, sun visor and you got some storage. You have the same thing on your, eye, your end. That's pretty cool. All right, let's hit the road. We're gonna take the emergency brake down, get my seat properly adjusted, and we're good to go. All right, so hey, this thing got a serious FM, and uh, it's pretty good. And our radio, CD player, all that. Uh, importantly, AC works good. It's got a cold AC. And this, uh, you could turn brightness down if you wanted to, but we got a light um, on our camera. How's the turning? Like turning radius is really good. I mean, look at it. Oh my God. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Man, great acceleration. 3.0 V6. Man, that Mercedes would kick it. I drove it from uh, Charleston to here and it ran really good. Uh, Cruise is on at 40 miles an hour. I'm gonna go. Uh, this roundabout kind of steer and then come on back yeah it runs really good it's got a good rubber Michelin all the way around that's the um, benefit of a Michelin tire they're really soft and runs really good look at it I mean it just steers straight as an arrow and then um, she reach certain speed Put your cruise on, and man, there we go. It is just enjoyable ride. No unwanted sound, no squeak, no rattle. And you got the diesel engine of a Mercedes, so you get a really good uh, diesel fuel mileage in high teens, and depend on how much load you got in there, how much water you have in your freshwater tank. Uh, a lot of these guys are watching the video. They probably have done study on them. This is a just a really nice motorhome, and uh, especially talking to the first owner, 
Uh, Is it one owner? Well, second owner didn't own it long at all, and then and, and we got it. It's uh, 90, 95% is one owner. Talk to the lady, like I said uh, earlier, $8,000 of transmission was rebuilt only 15,000 miles ago. This V6 engines, Mercedes, they're good to go over half a million miles or six, seven hundred thousand miles. They just go forever and ever. Front end has been uh, all completely rebuilt with the ball joints and all. That's why, look, that's why it drives so good. No bouncing around. It is an excellent shape. Um, so let's talk about nitty gritty. We can get you finance if you need financing help. We do take trades. And we also, uh, let's see, uh, warranty. warranty with this miles, there may be a year mechanical warranty, I don't know. You could get a warranty online from Good Sam Club or wherever or insurance, but you saw all that paperwork. That's your insurance. It's, 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 this is extremely well taken care of, Coach. Uh, okay, here, we're going up on the hill and I'm punching the gas or fuel pedal diesel it's not a gas high beam low beam works man this is a nice car nice car i said yeah it's about my car <laughs> cruises on i take my foot off man it is a relaxing drive you could just drive been, been a 24 footer you could park in a walmart parking lot in some city you can get away parking somewhere and, you know and we do with our big motorhomes too but you know Let's see, we're gonna turn around and go on back. I'm checking my brakes. Brakes feel really good, really good, soft, but no pulsation, you know, like uh, rotor, rotors are grabbing perfectly, you know. Steering wheel didn't go right left because it's got a new front end. That was a good stop. You making a U-turn? I'm making a U-turn here, yep. Yup, at night, it's not a lot of traffic. I turn around at the traffic light. It's got a really good turning radius and a great acceleration, I tell you what. Only time I felt it, now look, I, I like fast cars. When I was coming from Charleston to Greenville, there's some hills you'll know you got a V6 diesel, okay? So, if you're in a race and you're going to put this on a racetrack, uh, this ain't it. But recreation vehicle, yeah, it is it. I mean, I, I don't know what else I can add. Cruise works, air condition works, radio works, all power windows work. We check all the traffic uh, signals and all. It is, uh, it's in a way, way above average condition. That's about it. My number is 864-404-0054. Or my son, mine, 864-376-5600. Text us if you can't get a hold of us. Uh, we'd love to earn your business. Man, this thing just running smooth as a butter, like mine would call it. I don't know where it's, it's, it's run so good. Except some bad road in South Carolina. A good road, it rides really good. Cruises on again. Oh my God. So uh, that's it. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll appreciate those folks have already subscribed to our channel. Put that thumbs up what do you call it, a bell button and give us a thumbs up if you like our videos well thank you and uh we are in greenville south carolina come get this 2008 winnebago view at a fraction of new price thank you have a great day